Yo, what the hell is up? What is up? What is up? Thank you for tuning in to another live from the corner, live right here on Listen Vision. You can catch us here every Friday. I'm sorry, every Monday, seven to eight. I'm not high yet. It's seven to eight. ListenVisionLive.com, or you can watch the streaming on my Facebook page, and you can find us in the uh, live from the corner page as well, streaming. Um, I am Bridget Taylor, along with Louisa and your man AI. And Louisa just got back. She's out down in the country. From South Kakalaki. You know what I'm she, she, her kids down there for uh, spring break, right? Mm. Right, walk around barefoot with no clothes yeah, and shit. We were running around. They were doing all types of stuff. I love it. Okay, I used to do cool. it when I was younger, that's too, cool. so it's cool. So I, I took you had a good weekend, a good week, right? I did. Mm-hmm. I did. Hey, how, 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 was your, how was your weekend, man? Uh, man, I was out here picking up all the, uh, all the get high uh, people out here for 420. You know what I'm saying? And Crazy was, nights. And I was with them. Yeah. I was looking for you, too. I was looking for you. I was <laughs> definitely looking for you. But you know what, though? Where I live, where I stay, is right around the corner. Okay. Like, oh, like, you on that? And you near Oklahoma it, Avenue, it all that. It's a 15-minute walk. Okay. Oh, so, right. you know, need to say it. I, I could have floated home if I needed to. Uh, I feel you. <laughs> and I'm pretty, sure you, I'm pretty sure you were flying home. I was. All right. Yes, so, indeed. Yo, so I, I actually was working the at the National Academy Fest this past Saturday. He went to I was working with Sanctum T. So, shout out to Sanctum T. <laughs> shout out to Torrance and everything. Shout out to Dior Ashley Brown for pulling me up, you know, with them uh, as, as well. So, you know, I was the bartender. You know, we, we were selling uh, CBD infused teas. Oh, wow. And so uh, I know I fished probably about 500, 500 uh, uh, drinks. So I was having a Ooh, sword. Cool. Yo, bartender's no joke. I did not know. I did not appreciate. Mm. <laughs> I really didn't. When I say I poured 500, I poured <laughs> 500 drinks. I'm bending down, getting ice. So my shows are hella, was hella sore. But one of the advantages of working at an infused stuff was I got the sample of the goods. Here he go. Here he go. <laughs> So I, that was the right, motivation right, right, to get right. in the door. That's why he did it. That was the motivation. Right, right, right. So Breezy so, is going to end up being a hooker. I actually, <laughs> he's going to sell his ass for some weed one day. It's coming. It's coming, everybody what out the there. What the fuck you talking about? He's going to sell his ass for weed. No, the hell I won't. What the fuck you talking about? You can edit that shit out right Catch now. Breezy. Catch Breezy yeah, on K that's... Street at 5 a.m. Oh, not K Street. Not selling not that K ass. Street. No. Well, I don't know who the fuck you talking about. <laughs> not K Street. No, no, no. He too pretty for K Street. Hey. Like, he too pretty for K Street. How about this? How about fuck each and every one of y'all? How about that? <laughs> yeah. Selling my ass no damn weed. No, sir. No, no sir. No, no. Anyways, <laughs> I say we are here. Shout out to Busy with the B that comes on before mm. us every Monday, six to seven. Be sure you, you check them out and sure. everything. All right, so let's jump right into it. So for all my men with beards, all you beard gangs, all you ladies that love men with beards, guess what? It has now been decided that men with beards have just as much, if not more, germs than dogs. That's why you got the white man with I beard kissing the dog. Ah. <laughs> nah, Eagle, he Eagle put, put himself, himself up, up there. Come on, Eagle. He is so cool. My man. Shout out to Eagle, my man. man. Shout out to Eagle. Hey, Eagle, us, beard, us, us people that can grow beards. <laughs> hey, hey, look. No difference. Look, shout out to our engineer, Eagle, put himself in the, in, in the top. He's a team hey. player. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. So, so there's no, <laughs> no studying cool. that, uh, cool. that took place uh, in Switzerland. So, researchers at uh, Hearst Landing Clinic near Zurich, Switzerland, wanted to determine uh, uh, whether evaluating humans and dogs in the same MRI scanner would be hygienic enough. What? So that's how they came about. They wanted to know if they could put both, would be clean enough. And then they came up with this study uh, that they did so by comparing the bacterial load and colony forming uh, units of human pathonic. Pathogenic, I can never say that right. Pathogenic. Yeah, pathogenic. Pathogenic. Microorganisms and specimens taken from 18 bearded men and 30 furry dogs. The researchers also compared the extent of bacterial contamination of an MRI scanner used by both dogs and humans with two other MRI MRI scanners used exclusively by humans. Turns out that all bearded brothers showed high microbial counts compared with only 23 of 30 dogs. In fact, seven of the men had so much beard bacteria they were at risk of getting sick, according to the BBC. Mm. First, well, let's go ahead and deliver. Let's let's debate this, okay? Because I know you a hater because you got no pubes, okay? 
This man's still fighting for puberty over nah, here. Okay? I don't, I don't, I don't, don't know. do weed because it, it stunts I don't, your I don't, beard growth. Okay? I, I don't know why another man's concerned with but, my puberty hair. Because you're concerned about mine. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? You brought this up. But let's let's go ahead and think about it. That's they your said beard. That, hold that up, your hold face up now. That's a facial hold hair. Up now, hold up now. <laughs> First and foremost, ladies out there that want to uh, go ahead and use this as an excuse for your man to look like a pervert, i.e., my homie right here. Look like a pervert over there, <laughs> No, it, it, it's a little unsettling that you were about my people. Hey, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a little unsettling, though. Your face hair, hair. But listen, I don't know who these people are, and they needed to show pictures of the, the, the test subjects because, um, unfortunately, my beard is attached to a face that I wash that's every day. Say. So I don't understand where possible? they got that from. And I, me personally, ladies, um, if, a, if your man has a beard, he can't go down on you anymore because that's where most of the bacteria is coming from. Yeah, it's coming from going down on your ladies, things like that. It's a flavor saver, okay? That's what happens sometimes. It does help it grow. Yeah, it, it does. It supposedly helps it grow, but that's the type of bacteria that we're talking about here. Uh, vaginas have good bacteria and bad bacteria. Oh, you I have you bad bacteria. Good bacteria, vagina. bad bacteria. First of all, look, look, let's break this down <laughs> no, to ladies. Still, but so, still. Yeah, you have to wash your, you, I mean, if you wash your face, your beard will be clean. I don't understand Every where damn they got day. that from. Me and Igor, we got clean beards, okay? Hair. We got clean beards. Now, since you want to yeah, bring right. the, 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 the <laughs> since we're on the female you element, damn hand. since we're on the female element, you unbeweavables out there, I know damn well y'all ain't washing them weeds every day. Mm -mm. So unless you natural hair, mm -hmm. you hear me? You got just as much bacteria, champ. Yeah, because the, okay? Yeah, it's a I am not shaving my beard, okay? I am not. Now, Breezy, well, I, on the other I, hand. I'm clean with the MRI machine. That's what I want to know. Well, know. it said the jointly used scanner. Uh, used by both uh, pets and humans, also has significantly lower bacteria counts than the scanners used only by humans. On the basis of these findings, dogs can be considered as clean compared with bearded man. Oh. Study author Andreas Gutzitz told BBC. Well, Listen, you people, know what they did? They went they out there and found... they clean their dogs more than they clean their faces. No, that's a fucking lie. And they went out there and found homeless people. That's the only hell... That's the only way that a person can sit up there and have that much bacteria in their beard. Is that they found a homeless person on Skid Row somewhere in Cali, and was like, you know what? They're in Switzerland. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna pose this question on them. You know what I'm saying? But the 30 men, all of them weren't homeless. Oh, I don't think any of them were homeless. Did they even, yeah, they, did they, they state if homeless. they were homeless or not? I don't remember in the article that they Maybe stated they, they were the homeless or not. Maybe they let the dog lick on their face, so they do stuff. Some people are nasty. But you know, a dog's mouth probably clean. It's supposedly cleaner than. It's not oh boy! Oh, I don't know why they say that? Supposedly, you can find him selling his ass supposedly. and and kissing dogs. <laughs> Oh, in I'm the a, mouth. Like, <laughs> I'm going to say something to you at the break, man. I'm going to need you to stop saying that shit, man. I'm like, joking girl, with you, Brody. I'm joking yeah, with you, Yeah, but so, supposedly. Yeah, but I don't yeah, know why yeah. they say that. A dog eats everything. It's especially its own everything. ass. everything. Right. So how That's, is it cleaner than a There's no mouth? way. There's no way that I can clean my ass with my tongue and my beard is dirtier than a dog. Hmm. You did. This is weird. 100%. This is a false lie. <laughs> it's a false lie, he said he tried and it's it. nothing but. At, and they said at the end of the article, it's probably nothing but uh, pugnophobia. So you know what I'm saying? The, the fears, the fearing of beards and stuff like that. So that's probably all it is, Brody. I mean, that's hair is hair. Is. Hair is you. You have hair everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't understand how well, they can just say the face. If that's the case, test every part of a person's body with hair on it. Uh. I don't, yeah. I mean, I don't know. No, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like arm hair or anything, though. Face, your underarms, your anal genital area. But it's have actually, hair on their feet. People have hair. I mean, but you, body hair is actually a barrier. It is. Between you and yeah. microbes and stuff yeah. like so that. So. It, and you have living, living organisms on your skin, period. It's yeah. natural. So, you know, yeah. we all walk in germs anyway. I feel you. Yeah. Kiss me later. I'm, a keep, I'm keeping mine forever and ever and ever. Someone, someone begs to differ in the audience, though. She ain't got to worry about it. She <laughs> growing hers, too. Man. Man. <laughs> she growing her beard out, so, too. <laughs> Man. And what? That's when you get old and decrepit and your beard get to growing, I'm going hey, to tell you, I'm going to demand you cut it. God damn it. Hint, hint. On to the next one. All right, so. <laughs> 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 so moving on before we have a family feud going up in here. <laughs> right. So there's a case uh, down in Louisiana. Now, a 58-year-old Michelle Jackson had a bright idea. When her ex-boyfriend, mm -hmm. he's now ex, has one leg, decided to break things off with her. Everything was Broke cool. It all for real. Everything was cool. And went to bed. 
No problem, no beef. Woke up, got his ass mm-hmm. whooped with his own prosthetic leg. She broke it off. Jesus him. Christ, that's well, that's that's fifty eight. So that's when, what I'm, yeah, she so when he tried life. to break it off, she broke it off. She broke yeah. it off. They say they were sitting there having a nice quiet drink. Not in a good way. And yeah, he, they they went to bed with no incident and everything. Uh, you see, that's that's when you know you got to be careful. You don't go to sleep and your woman a little bit too quiet, especially if you know y'all been beefing and y'all just broke up. And you go on the bed, you're a genius. You're real smart. Mm-hmm. He is the dummy. He is the he, dumbest he, person he, I've ever genius. seen in my but life. But do, do you know how funny it is? House. There's no way. <laughs> you know how funny it is? They got your own ass kicked that's by your own your leg. Own leg. Like, like. You kicked your own ass. <laughs> you got you your, your own, own ass kicked. With your own leg. Now that's a bad goddamn day. Kicked your now, own ass. That's a bad day. <laughs> now, 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 all she had to do was just, you know, just a hot leg from him, but no, he took a step further. Well, it's better than hot grits. It's a whole lot better than what Al Green endured. I'm mm. telling you that now. You hear me? But that's that New Orleans voodoo stuff, man. If you've been right. down there, if you think Florida's crazy, that's a different type of ignorant down there in New Orleans. I mean, it's, 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 it's something yeah. that go, of course, where well, I my, my folks from down there. Well, anyway, so Oof. I know about that. So, like I said, you know, they went to bed, you know, saying no incident, no problem. Uh, but he woke up with an injured hand and a large cut on his head that was dripping. Mm. Hold up. Blood. How drunk was he to just wake up with a large cut? Did he woke up with a large cut or did he get woke up? No, no. He, large w- he woke up too. The uh, large cut. Oh, so, oh, that means uh, he slept through that. Can you so imagine the dreams shit. that he was having? Mm. Like, <laughs> Why I feel so real. Oh, my God. I wonder what was going on in her mind Yo, I'm while just, they were sitting They there. probably been together for a long time. Yeah, I'm sure. You know what I'm but, I mean, in her mind, what's the hardest thing I can hit his stupid ass? A little dusty ass leg. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, like, like, if she wouldn't <laughs> if she wouldn't do harm, it would be been better she hit the leg from him. That yeah. would cause more harm to him. Right. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Cause then right. he had to, cause then cause what happened was when she, when he woke up, she was gone. Mm. So he in the house by himself. So oh, hide so his he, leg. Oh you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so he was still team. knocked out. So he was under that good old alcoholic anesthesia. Yeah, yeah he right. was out. Good. That's crazy. God almighty. So like so like I said, Ooh, had she hit his leg, she was gone. Or she had, had she took it with him. Or took it with him. That would be a lot more damage to him than what his ass was on there. Them jaws expensive. Hit it where it hurts. Not in his head. The pocket. Oh, the pocket. my God. Hit the pocket. I couldn't imagine waking up to that, man. That's like a nightmare, bro. How you wake bro? up and you got half your laying in a pool of blood? How, how do oh, you do that? God. Oh, this hurts. That's, a, that's, what, that's what Henny do. That's what they hit. Nah, nah, do. nah, nah. That was at Cisco. Cause bro, <laughs> that you, was that moonshine I you, from Saluda, South Carolina. Had she Carolina. hit him more than once, he would probably woken up at, at least one of them hits. Exactly. He did but not. Now That's you were there looking crack. You probably ain't feeling nothing. That is crazy. That, that Cisco, that Cisco in that night train, you ain't feeling nothing. But since he didn't remember, all he all she had to do was say somebody came in and robbed him or something like that. I would have just but, no, but she left. So <laughs> she 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 incriminated herself. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. right. So. Right. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, black market. If they get and kidneys and prosthesis are the are the, are the are the the biggest sellers. I'm I'm, I'm quite sure of that. Mm-hmm. I'm quite sure of that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe so so, okay. so 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 red as the resident woman on here. What's the pettiest shit you've done? I don't do petty stuff. I really don't. I'm if a lame. woman says she doesn't do anything petty, she's lying. I'm not lying though. I don't. I don't have time for it. Some women do. Some women so, don't, so bro. So you never did to get back? You never got to get back? I don't have to get back on nobody. It always comes back to them. You cross me, you cross me yourself. That's all I'm saying. Man. I ain't got to do it's that. There's women out there that do voodoo, all types of crazy stuff out this genre. I've bro. never done anything petty because I, I don't want nothing coming back to me. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, man, so, so, the so, so, things that's happening to so, us. So, so, so you say they're putting, any, you're there putting any period blood in somebody's was getting? Hell no, I would never do that. That's that voodoo. Okay. That's my that ass voodoo. Be forgotten. Hey, put a, put, put a root on somebody? That's that voodoo. <laughs> that's bad, man. That's the. Now nah, that's to make them fall in love. Yeah. That's Bur- like you stand and over then you bury the period draws yeah. in the backyard. You, bur- you stand over top of a of pot of rice and let your juices fall in. That's the, um, like a love. So, 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 so you try to me. So, 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 are, are you burying pillow size, pillowcase size panties in the backyard? <laughs> No. You know I got the big ass period panties, right? That pillowcase size. First of all, those big mama draws, okay? And no, I don't do those things. Hey, Breezy, maybe we should try burn like a jerk off towel in the back of somebody's uh, yard and shit. Get the lady to think that'll work? <laughs> you think that'll work? I'll sperm soak cloth. I mean, you think make them stay. What, 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 <laughs> what, what's the end result you trying to get? <laughs> what the hell? Shoot it in little, there. Little, you trying to get a baby? Or you trying to get a woman? <laughs> what are y'all trying to do? I don't know about that. <laughs> y'all, are, y'all are crazy. 
<laughs> Men, we don't even have we don't even have roots that we can put on women. Yo. That's crazy. But to think, would you but want to? No, 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 what, no. What men do? Would you they, want that? Men dickmatize women. Y'all, okay. y'all get some oh, good dick. Y'all, y'all go okay. crazy. Lauren okay. Hill. Okay. That's yeah. true. Yeah, you got to get that is, by that, one that of the Marley niggas. Forever that, late. That is true. <laughs> right. Miss Lauren, forever late. <laughs> you seen that meme of her uh, when it came to the uh, comparison of the um, the uh, Beyonce uh, Netflix special? Mm-mm. And they had her, it was like, never coming. You know, it was her oh, yeah, own. Yeah, yeah, right. never, never coming. coming. No, right. You know what? Good, 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 dick, good dick. We have a chick out there playing flops on in the rain. Take yeah. me back. Yeah. I'm sorry for what did it cause you to cheat. Yeah. It'll definitely do it to him, bro. Definitely do it to him. You gotta give and the what the cunnilingus. You gotta mm-hmm. give, you gotta do your 69s. You gotta you do all of the above. 69. No, no, that that'll call that'll call a woman. You gotta make sensors. sure you do it right. <laughs> right. Do it right. You can't just be doing it. Just yeah, don't be out there gnawing on the right. on the joint. Then you'll get the the following. Yeah. Hey, so you know, oh, speaking of crazy women, <laughs> that's, that's that's gonna be a thing throughout this this show probably. Speaking of crazy women, so uh, Jacqueline. I did. Oh. We actually did a story on her, what, last year? So she, she sent 159,000 text messages to a person she went on a day once, and he told her, all right, we ain't, we ain't doing this no more. I tell you. Broke into his house while he was out of town and sent him some crazy-ass text messages, right? Uh, one of them saying, um, no, this is what she said. When the police came in and arrested her at his house, she said, I guess that I made up a whole scenario in my head well, I live here, so I came here and pretended that's what was happening. Right. So now, no, as crazy as that is, she was found mentally incompetent to stay in trial, but she wants to go to trial. She says that once a jury hears her side of the story, that she will be found not guilty and be ordered to marry to marry that dude. Now, last time, wasn't it she didn't <laughs> know the person? Or she, because I don't think they went on a date last no, time. No, no, right? no. She went on a date. Uh, she found this person on a site, uh, uh, which is for people that make $200,000 or more. And only those can be invited that were vetted based on the, uh, their looks. Mm-hmm. Um, the site is called I'm a confused Luxy. It's like a, 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 a luxury uh, dating service. Right? Mm-hmm. So, again, she said that once a jury hears her side of the story, she'll be found not guilty in the order to marry him. Bitch, you crazy. They might lock her ass. Man, up. did you, like, <laughs> did y'all crazy. take time to listen to the 18 minute interview? Actually, we have, we have a part of the interview itself. <laughs> you go ahead and play, that, that play a part of the interview, man. This yeah. is a straight nut case, if you don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. She, she, but like she was doing all like type of cryptic math and everything. I felt right? like, like I got my beginning. soulmate and everything was just the way it was. And I thought we would just do what everybody else did and we would just like get married and everything would be fine. But that's not what happened. Jacqueline Addis claims she went on three dates with a Paradise Valley man oh, she okay, met nice. through an online dating service for millionaire matchmaking. Yeah. Court records say oh, Addis sent the victim 65,000 text messages, including threats to kill him, wear his body parts, Parts and bathe in his blood. That's the head of right there. Addis does not deny the volume of text messages, but she would not get into specifics. She did, however, regret the nature of some of those messages. When you're finding love, not everything is perfect. No, bitch, that ain't love. This was a journey, and I want to apologize because nobody would ever be more sorry. Addis said she never intended to hurt is, or scare the victim, crazy. and she doesn't blame him for her incarceration. No. It's your fault. <laughs> oh. Mm. No, I love him. Yeah. Hey, in the beginning, let me get drop a jewel. In the beginning of the interview, if you, you can go on, <laughs> hey, look, go on YouTube and search her out. Yeah. At the beginning of the interview, she was comparing herself and him to like Jesus and all this stuff, like the 33, the 333 mm, theory, because she's 33, he's 33. Mm-hmm. She said that they had the same father's name and brother's name and all this stuff. And then all of a sudden, when I was watching it, her one eye went cockeyed just mm-hmm. on his own. Her, that's her goddamn her brain, eyes. Her, that's how her brain was worked over. It was just on overload. Oh my God. Yo, look, the, the, yo this is how crazy, this is how crazy she is, right? She sent a text saying, I'd make sushi out of your kidneys and chopsticks out of your hard bones. Dude, leave the state. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, leave, leave the world. Leave, hey, the, leave the country, partner. If I was the go, though, that's how I would want to go, yeah. I would want to go as a bowl of ramen and shit. You, you know, know what I'm saying? <laughs> The hell wrong with you? <laughs> I want to go with nigga peace. I want me. that type of love. Oh, hell. You hear me? Go ahead and have it. Uh, yeah, all right over there. Uh, all right over there. Mm-mm. 
I'm the one that's gonna make sashimi out your ass. You hear me? So I just, I, but I just wonder how, how you gonna walk around with a dual score like that's natural, though. Man, hey Brody, that hey, that's some wicked <laughs> stuff right now, there. That, that's some natural shit. You're gonna walk around with a score. It's an obsession Man. with love, obsession. I wonder when he got the hint that she was ludicrous, like, like just straight crazy. You I know? guess I, from the messages. I, I think the first day, like after. The, no, right. Why, no, no, what happened was on three days. after he told her there was a no go, she said her five hundred that day. Mm. My God. So that should, I guess, the first three should be the song. Fuck the first five hundred. It's craziness, bro. It's real craziness, it's bro. It's an obsession. I don't know what I would do, bro. I guess the the actual the way to make a woman crazy is really to have a lot of money. I guess that's that's what this is proven right here. But no, well, I, was, <laughs> I, I for for her, I think that's just the first man that came along. It could be anybody. It could be the oh wrong my God. Because trust me, if, if you do it like that, and she ain't sent the belt money, so she, in her mind, would think she loves that dude. So it could be anybody with any it's dollar amount. It's an obsession amount. for love. And or what she say, thinks is love. You know what I said? The eyes are lying. Hey, bro. Her crazy ass eyes. Hell yeah, no. But this is exactly why I tell people if you pull up her picture again, Eagle, please, sir, and we're going to examine this picture. We're going to break her down. Mm. Seriously. Um, if you look. At the, the white, you can see the whites in her <laughs> eyes. Her eyes. The only other time you see shit like that is when a pit bull is going red zone out that zone. You hear me? You you can never trust a person with the whites in their eyes showing like that. Or if their eyes are like this close to the nose and shit, you got to be really careful with that. Yeah, that is the first sign of craziness right there, bro. Yo, that's the first sign of craziness. That's the first sign of craziness. Who the hell smiles? Who walks around like this all day? <laughs> Who just does that? You know what I'm saying? That's lifelessness. Like that's craziness at his like the core, bro. She didn't squint. She didn't. You know, she didn't even have crow's feet. You know she what? She don't but, even smile yeah. like that. Look at her smile. Yo, but look at both the pictures, right? <laughs> and the left look like like a tether. For those that see us, she's a tether, and then that's her. Yeah, oh, you know she doctor herself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, that's damn, so, tether right there, that's bro. That's a tether. That's a yeah. regular one right there, right? Show sure enough. For those that seen us, goddamn yo, doppelganger. I mean, I mean, but like sixty-five thousand texts, and she does not, she does not dispute that. Like she's having but those texts. Uh, yeah, I sent them. I sent. Yeah, I, I bet you heard that. I want to see all them texts. That's what I want to see. Right. Man, that's look. a dossier right there. Like that's that. That's I'm serious. Book. That's some real shit. I want to know what crazy look like with with the thumbs and shit. Oh my God! What the Ego said he, he would date her. Really? Our engineer said that's his type. What did they do over there in Serbia, bro? Someone has to be a man. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, you got to tame him. You got to tame him. Hey, 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 hey when you wake up with your dick on the TV. I mean, on the TV screen and shit. You Mom, know what I'm you, saying? Because he done chopped it off and Mom, recorded it. I think you you're not going to like that. You're not going to like that. I'm telling yeah, uh, you, you're not uh, going to like it, Igor. She's going to use your nipples as, as okay. baby bottles and shit. Igor. Weird shit. Igor, is that, is that the sign? <laughs> Igor said, perfect. What are the women over there in Serbia like? Are they like that? Oh, oh my really? God. <laughs> so you Yo, already conditioned for love if, like if, that. If, if that's manhood that's in Serbia, love. I don't want that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so you want her to take your balls and put them over your I engineer is a and nut. Twist it around and I thought punch I was crazy. And I th say he wants him. to be filleted me on. Yeah. He wants to be fried up. That's your legacy, huh? You just want to have your burial in somebody's stomach and shit. <laughs> no, we're going to quit quick break. <laughs> Oh my goodness. We'll say a quick break. Be back in a couple minutes. Live from the corner in the division. The thing you like.
Okay, I'm going to uh, read what I think may have happened to our wonderful stalker there. Her, her is going to hijack the show with her, yeah. her, her poetry moment. Yeah. <laughs> snap, 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 snap. Okay. <laughs> this. <laughs> Hugo was doing it too. <laughs> Where the fuck is the sage? I was there. I only missed some sage and incense. <laughs> okay, so. Captured in your glance with no feeling of bondage, I swim in those eyes. You look at me as if you're reading my soul, and I like it. We dance together before we touch, checking for mutual attraction, not knowing that our souls had already made claim. The battle of the mind is a tough one, since it loves to fight the heart. Yet the closer we get, um, the closer we get, quiet seems to dive right in. My imagination runs wild while I ponder how you feel how you smell, what you taste like, your sounds, kisses. Then you grasp the hold of all my thickness, so unexpected your strength, and simply ask of me one thing, where have you been? I think uh, she just gave all stalkers a boner. <laughs> all the stalkers out there you have just, boners. You just gave them all a soundtrack. Snap it up and get your knives ready. <laughs> Go kill somebody. You just gave them all a soundtrack. So I'm sure <laughs> exactly. that's like kind of what she felt because you don't send a hundred and something thousand. No, no, but no, what, no, what? So in your point, it says mutual attraction. There was well, there was no mutual attraction, mutual attraction <laughs> there. there. <laughs> She's reading from the book she of was, Jeffrey Dahmer. Right, 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 right. She was singular. There was nothing mutual it there. Was, it was mutual within herself. <laughs> but her, her, herself, and her, and, and her other people in her head, yeah, yeah. Just schizophrenic. Oh, no, 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 monsters man. within, mutuality. Yeah, yeah, but I, he, I tell you, he didn't get the memo. Hey, yo, I'm telling you, when you tell me she gonna walk around with a dude's skull, that was some Hannibal Lecter type shit for real, for real. Sleeping with dead that bodies. Some, um, they got you to go search her house. <laughs> medieval times, medieval things, medieval. They really do. Uh, Seriously. Uh, moving on. So, <laughs> one thing you do not want to do is pick a fight with an MMA man or woman. Which seemed to be the case in Brazil with MMA fighter Joyce uh, Vieira. She was doing a video shoot. And uh, you know Brazilians, they, they beautiful anyways. Um, she was doing a video shoot, a photo shoot, and there was a, a fan in the background mm -hmm. that was uh, relieving himself, mm -hmm. choking his chicken, and she went and, and whooped his ass. She choked him in the neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How the hell do you he walk was, around was, with your Johnson now? He was greasing his monkey. Who does that shit? That's what I mean. I've never been able to walk and jerk over. I just, that I, is the weirdest <laughs> shit. Like, when your knees buckle midway, <laughs> like, I, you have, who walks and jerks time. off? Like, you know what kind of special skills you have to have? Who, how do you practice for that? You walk. Do you jog and be like, you know what? I, I tell you what. I'm trying to whip my cock out. I tell you what, uh, mm. be, before I get it. talented <laughs> multitasking. <laughs> what did he say? What is that? Hey, you go crazy as shit. I tell you yeah. what, I, I wasn't the before the walk around part. How you do that shit on the beach like no one's gonna notice you? Like you just go, like, like you, like it's just no if you just drag out some women on the beach. Well, Brazil is fairly liberal mm. and they are kind of, yeah, but I don't know, I don't, I don't know about, about jacking off yeah, though, like that though. Yeah, but she's, she's a different type, but there's weird stuff that happens out there from what I heard. And, 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 she, and, and she, she put the man's on too. Yeah, they probably got new beaches in her. I think they do actually. You know what I'm saying? Probably not even. Nude is one thing, but he was checking up while watching her being having pictures. Hey, Eagle, pull up, pull up that picture one more time yeah. for me, man, of her uh, cold cock and dude. Man, you know? she was, she reached. When, like she when reached you look all the at the back. picture, when you look at the picture, why didn't he just hide in the grass and just peek his head out? Like, if you're gonna be a pervert, be a smart one. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're gonna do it, be he smart. Was one. Out in the old. Oh no, nah, the grass makes my dick itchy. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta jerk off and walk. And then that's, <laughs> it, and then that's where we have, uh, we have a video of. of of it too. So go ahead and play that video, Igor. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, Felt man. something crawling in the throat. <laughs> and that was when she first saw the thing of Lake hanging yeah, out. Yeah, that was where she went and posted him to the moon. And that's home. when she knocked his dick in the dirt, as they like to say. So she saw him jack it off, <laughs> told him to leave. He well, stood there and gave him the dick off. Butterflies in the background. I'm just like, how do you have this music in that violence at the same time? Alright, we, we back, we back, we back. So what happened was, when she was having to take another, 
turned, she noticed him. So she went over there, politely told him, you know, move on, don't do that. And he's like, yeah, fuck you, whatever, and, and continue to. He walked towards her with his dick out? No, she walked towards him. Oh, my God. That just made him made it worse. Walked towards him. made him more excited. Uh-huh. And told him to she's stop. Coming, she's coming. Went back, you know, until he had a picture taken over, and he kept on doing it. She went back and knocked his ass out. Jesus Christ. Man. Let me tell y'all, that don't only happen in Brazil. That happens on Alabama Avenue by Congress High Station. Really? So like you know from I have seen this, like, I have seen like, this like you know for experience. Oh, do tell. I have seen this twice. I was walking to the train <laughs> so station. So you seen dudes jack off? Yes. I was walking to the train station one day, the dude was sitting in his car in the passenger side jerking off. I was like, yo. I was driving from the station one day. A dude was standing by the trees. No, I'm sorry, I was getting ready, walking to my car, getting ready to pull off. It was parked. He's standing by the trees across the street, jerking off. Oh, C- Congress Heights. So maybe, maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. <laughs> that was before I got out there. That's all them stalker poems that Did you be it? reading and shit. Yeah, well, they, it's some freaks. Oh man. And well, well, off. well. I'm sorry. Maybe it's you and your mother. Dude, hold up. Do, do serial. <laughs> they're bring, they're do bring serial this out. Jack off. Jack offs realize that they have a phone with all types of porn available on it, or do they just got the Obama phone? They need the real life. They got the flip phones and they got it. They, they just, you know what I'm saying? They like, gotta see a woman walk. Well, they both were. You see women walk past all, or men walk past all the time. So that maybe they just need fetish, a. Man. That is, he was just standing in the corner by the tree. I, I was like, but see, was he walking though? No, he was. Just see, standing. I still don't get the coordination no, it takes about, no, to walk and so pump no, your shit. The like, dude, it's gotta be some, yeah. That's a gift, yeah. So this, this that's like dude, going pat your head and rubbing your belly and shit. So this dude so was standing, he was standing in plain head. sight, though. Like, he didn't try, he was standing right there in plain sight behind oh. the cameraman. Oh. Jeez. He went, Christ. that's what I'm saying. That's why she saw him went and told him to move on. Shit. Holy Cause shit. Because he was standing there and standing there for the whole world to see. He didn't try to hide in the weeds, nothing. He was just standing there. Oh, my God. Now, could you imagine being the cameraman, she never saw him, and he shot that load oh. on somebody's ass or something? Oh. Could you imagine no. that weird shit? And you he went, walking, hey, look, he walk walking away and somebody like says, dude, now. you have semen on your ass. Like, walk away like nothing happened. Mm. Hey. It's a sick thought, but it's That's true. Man. Like, imagine if he got behind He probably would have yeah, and would have walked away. Yeah, hey, yeah. I'm, I'm a little worried about, man. That's craziness, yeah. They That's do it crazy. on the train. They do it on the train. They do? They masturbate on That's the train. That's because you be yeah. on there reading erotic poems. <laughs> My nipples burn. <laughs> Racial diaries. Steaming delight. <laughs> <laughs> it's that, that, that real shoot diary shit, right? Yeah, <laughs> snap. I told you, it, 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 it's, it's you and your mama. That's what it is. You and your mama. I listen men and do this type of shit. I, I, <laughs> she be reading I, poems to the, to the, to the serial jerk-offs. And shit, man. <laughs> That's her gift to I the mean, world. I That's turn how she, you on, I turn you on. I can't help it, but I ain't got nothing to do with what you do. You can catch her doing community service at your local <laughs> soup kitchen. <laughs> And your jailhouse. Having people have sex <laughs> out underneath the bridge. She be out there coaching them and shit. Work places and shit. <laughs> all right, so. <laughs> he taketh his dirty dicketh and stroketh with all the love of. Yes, of. We shall come up <laughs> on this dirtieth map of. All right, so. Uh, uh, so, so, uh, K- K- Kodak Black. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Co- Co- black is. Okay. Co- Co- Kodak Black is not done trolling oh, T.I. Correct. And he decides to uh, <laughs> dye his hair color yellow mm. because he heard that's T.I.'s daughter's favorite color. Y'all did not say he was the black man uh, looking like uh, Lisa Simpson last like time Lisa we talked Simpson. about him. I was not even playing. Yeah. <sighs> it's, it's wild, man. It's wild. He's this dude bored. Is, uh, he's bored. Yeah, he's he's trolling. He's now, definitely the king. Now, 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 for those who don't know, Kodak uh, <laughs> Black said some some things that I I, I think. So this one didn't cross a line to point of getting your ass whooped territory. Oh, There's another way to cross the line and get your ass shot territory. Mm. When you mention another man's daughter by name and you tell his father, "I'm gonna come inside your daughter," that's the getting shot territory. You got, the, you got the die after that. So Kodak Black, you know, him and T.I. had this, little, this going back and forth. He saw you better watch that before I come inside your daughter and have a kid. Bye. Oh, damn. He, now, he now, does not now, want now, to live. Now, AI, hey, hey, you, you are the resident um, Kodak Black uh, apologizer. 
Oh, he's trying. Oh, you trying to call me out because you ain't got no beard? Huh? <laughs> okay. It's cool. Yo, no, I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. What you gotta say about listen, that? Listen, what, listen. what you gotta say about what he's doing? I am doing not a here. sympathizer for him, but I I do respect the man's music. Okay. Okay. But we already know now. Listen. Because he hasn't been indicted on the sexual uh, misconduct uh, charges or whatever, or the rape charges, I figured, okay, the young dude, I listen to his music, is pretty cool, okay? But this right here, <laughs> this right here, it's the, it takes the cake, bro. So I have to mute him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I have to mute him, and uh, T.I. is most expeditiously going to crank that motherfucker soldier boy. All right, uh, I'm telling you. Lisa Simpson's <laughs> ass, young. I'm telling you. Man, 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 you going bring up the Lisa Simpson picture again. Mm, 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 mm. The this resemblance is, is uncanny. They look like, just like that. Nigga. Yeah. Like, for real. Yeah. I told yeah. you. So that means the Simpsons was black. Y'all don't be listening to me. <laughs> Y'all don't be listening to me. I mean, yo, yo. They yell. yo like I said, you know, and, and I'm pretty sure you agree. You as a father, there's certain, there, you know, there's types of disrespect and with levels, right? For sure. That, in my opinion, not having the kids, that's, the, again, you, you getting shot type you of disrespect. if any <laughs> Negro says they going to come in my door to my face or through the internet, mm. Mm -mm -mm. I am definitely going to come for you. And that matter of fact, I'm gonna bail old girl out the crazy one with the googly eyes and shit. <laughs> I'm gonna put your profile on the motherfucker. Crazy eyes joint. And she's gonna come see about you. You hear me? I'm gonna hire Jeffrey Domet. And she's gonna come for you. You hear me? She's gonna now, now, ass, literally. Now um <laughs> T our daughter came out last week uh, on Friday and said, you know, I, I wouldn't do anything with him. He looks like an um HIV infested roach. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you know. It's that Floridian shit, man. And, 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 I don't know what the hell And, and apparently that. that did not dissuade him from still, you know, that talking shit. Which is why he dyed his hair, because he heard that was his favorite color. Now, yeah. I'm saying, if someone called me an HIV roach, I, I, I'm going to leave you alone. Yeah, yeah. But, it, <laughs> but it, he, he don't care. And I'm going to back off you. And I guess, I guess. That's fuel for him. That's like fuel. Oh, yeah. oh, you know, let me do this then. It's the old saying. All publicity is good publicity. Mm. You hear me? Mm -hmm. And in the wake of the fact that Nipsey Hussle passed, we are starting to see that it's about to get violent out here again, you know, just because of him. You dig what I'm saying? Because people, of his comments. I mean, you just got to realize he's he doing things it, for attention. You just got to let no, it be. No, but like, like I said, there, there, there's doing oh. things for attention, and then there's complete disrespect. Yeah, that was very... Um, I got a story about things like that, but go ahead. You know well, I'm going to say it like this. <laughs> I'm going to say it like this. First and foremost, how everything led up to this and the reason why dude is going psycho, and this is not condoning what he said, Okay, everybody, but us old heads got to learn how to check these new rappers and new youngins behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. You know what? I, I, that's one thing that we do actually agree on. Yeah. So I'm. I, this is me. You know, I'm actually not mad at what Cordell Black said. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you why because. He's probably not the only man that said that. Correct, correct. Behind closed doors. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Behind closed right. doors. I'm sure. how, how many men said, man, if somebody's, you know, husband died, I'm going to get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's so a, I'm, not, a, I'm not mad at him for saying that. Yeah. Now, the fact is, you can't tell me he didn't know that that was being recorded and being uploaded to social media. That's where I find. But the thing is, you know he does not care. I don't think he, he kidding. Care. Mm -hmm. But his generation is different yeah. than mine. Now, now what T.I. should have done, should have called him man to man. Of course. Instead of getting on Snapchat and all this, because now what's happening is, what's that saying? Never argue with a fool. Never argue with a fool. Because you can't tell who, who's who. Exactly. So now here you are. You 39 years old. He right. 21. Right. You look more like a fool you than he does. Right. Do all exactly. this back and forth on social media type right. shit. And and the youngins run social media. They're way yeah. different from us. Right. Yeah. They just different from the older older cats like us. You know what and I'm like saying? Like you say, had he went to him man to man. Old man, the boy. I noticed that with the with my little nephews and stuff like that, man. Them teenagers, man, they don't like to be checked in public, bro. No, they, they don't because try. they feel they, like you're yeah. disrespecting them, and they going to try to kick yeah. your ass. I mean, like, like I said, what he said about Lauren London was disrespectful, but man said that shit like that for years behind closed doors. Ti has said that. Every man has thought that yeah. at a funeral, or you know what I'm saying. A young I don't man know about got, a, got a oh, nice looking jump. With your man, for you know real. what I'm saying? For real. Mm. I've, I've, I've heard it all. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I've heard it all. So he just got caught up and. I think the, I think they should have just really G checked him in a, in, in private. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Pull, pull him up, he he's living in Georgia right now. Well, no, he was living in Calabasas. He lives in Calabasas. No, no, uh, but no. So at, at that time when he made his reply back to oh, yeah, T.R., yeah. he said, "I'm in Georgia." Oh yeah, pull yeah, up. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then he said he wanted to smoke too. He said he wants to pull up. Yeah, so, yeah he wanted, so, he liked the smoke. So at, at that point, it should have been no more back and forth on social media. T.I. go pull up. T.I. gonna end up in jail for life. You know what the problem with you know T.I. and gang with cats like that? The like they ain't got nothing to lose. 
what I'm saying? These cats have millions to lose. Correct. But they don't have anything to lose. Correct. That's Did why you see? Okay, go ahead. No, that, that's why you say, man, why is Game Key one out there? Because nigga does not realize it. he ain't got it yet. Nigga, you are a millionaire. Yeah. With you shit to family. lose. Yeah, you for sure. But it ain't, it ain't sunk in. That's why T.I. buying enough guns to, um, you know, to, to um, shoot Iraq. Go to Iraq, exactly. Because <laughs> he has realized you got shit to lose. Yeah, yeah. And see, he's open. You know, he's old mm. world. So they a whole Haitian gang that's mm. all over the place. So he got a little, he got some street ties. Mm. You know what I'm so, saying? Some mob ties. So I don't know, man. I, don't, I hope this plays out. You know, cordially. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to use my TI words. But the problem with TI you know is he's not a rational thinker because he doesn't act like he ain't got nothing to lose. So yeah, yeah. Somebody, you know, so. somebody has but to be there. But he is just though. talking over now. the internet too, because TI is trying to get his little publicity out there too. You know what I'm saying? The game has always been a troll. Game just literally had that that damn song talking about effing people's uh, but, lives. And yo, stuff but like but that. remember, TI is the same nigga that went to Lil <laughs> Lil Flip's neighborhood. Yeah. And record a video. He'll pull up. He'll and then on that on that um what's up with happening video? Yeah. That's where I was, I was Bowen Holmes. That's where I was Shari, Shari Lowe's. Yeah. So he will, uh, T.I. will come see about he you. He will pull up. He will pull up. <laughs> he will come Man, see about you. But it comes you. to a point, especially the way um, he's presenting himself uh, publicly now, mm -hmm. he needs to get it together. You can't keep doing things like that. If you're sure. presenting yourself as a scholar in a way, mm -hmm. you, you're, you're going to have to cut that shit out. You got to stop. So you you still with stop. the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so keep it with the disrespectful thing. Uh, uh, white folks not named Jacob. Jeremy or Igor <laughs> have lost their damn minds and want to treat Howard University as a dog park with Howard residents, Howard students not taken too kindly. Literally right across the street. Yeah, literally right across the street. Literally right across the right. street. Right. So if you look at the, the court, any campus, let alone HBCU, you know, is sacred area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you have students that, you know, chill out there, have picnic in, out there. But now you have the residents of D.C. that aren't affiliated with Howard. They're walking their dogs on the quad, not even picking up their dogs' droppings. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's a fine. And that's a fine. And so what's happening with, with DC no longer being Chocolate City, more like a Mocha City, you have the newer residents saying, like we coming in, yeah, nigga, we took your shit. Yeah, you know so. what I'm saying? So as, actually, actually, we have a video of a- uh, It's a Chai City. So I said this, I said this a, couple, uh, a couple shows ago. I think the word gentrification gets a bad rap. Call it means just somebody with money. Moving to neighborhood. The mm -hmm. term should be called Columbusing. And we have a Columbuser <laughs> <laughs> explaining. Colonizer. And we got a video of a, of a Columbuser explaining his take on what Howard should do if they're like people walking on the quad. Mm. Silence so far about its official stance, but students have pleasant neighboring residents of using the yard, which is the heartbeat of Howard University's campus, as an outdoor gym or a place to walk their dog. The yard is for the students, and although everyone loves pets, I feel like it's disrespectful to have the pets just running around, especially when there are several parks around here. If they come up walking through, I don't necessarily have a problem with that, but I still feel like there are other ways to get around D.C. without having to cut through a college campus. They're in part of D.C., so they have to work within D.C. If they don't want to be within D.C., then move the campus. I think we need to work together, and I don't think it should be a... He or he or there or here. It's all. I can guarantee his beard is full of bacteria. <laughs> Have you seen the nudes <laughs> that, I, that, that, was all, that was all over Facebook? Yo. This dude is weird, man. Yo, my, my, my nigga. How you going to tell Howard to move? It's been there for 120 years, my nigga. Because. That, that fact is a private institution. How can you be a gay supremacist? <laughs> A With gay white supremacist. I'm just going to say it. I'm going to put it out there for the world. <laughs> How can you be a gay white supremacist? At once, all at once. Yeah, I think you should just move the whole school. <laughs> Boy, how <laughs> Hitler, all that shit, how the hell? Know, that, I, that doesn't I, even I, coincide with each other. You will get murked, Slim. With his chihuahua. Yes. With his uh, like 6'11". With his uh, 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 ZZ Hill uh, beard. Yeah, yeah ZZ like, top joint. Right, like, 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 like so, so you just got here, my nigga. Oh, my God. You just got off the plane <laughs> from, from Maine or somewhere. Where the fuck you moved from? Mr. King, where the fuck you move from? Now you gonna tell you how they should the move back with campus. Ashless chat. The head, the grand, the oldest grand dragon is rolling <laughs> over in his grave right now <laughs> for the KKK. <laughs> Seeing a gay man, ginger, I mean, uh, uh, try to pull a power move yeah. on some goddamn on black land. Boy, I swear, I swear to God, man, I done seen it all, man. I done seen it all. I done seen everything. Why are you walking your dog? If you why are you walking your dog? They nosy. Right they nosy, and so that's how you you know. And they're not cleaning it up. They're not cleaning it up either. Not at all. And they need to. 
No, no you wouldn't not. be able to. Well, well, they, well, they still would. Catholic they would, you, but, but they just don't. Up. They just don't do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They just don't do it. They choose not to. Really? And and the yeah. fact that he was just like, well, we need to work together. What the fuck does working together have to do with your dog shitting in the lawn? I do. Like, how it's been before you. You would, and why? Why, you? why, why, why they got to work with you? You know, oh. yeah. I can tell oh. by your, I can tell by your complexion, you're not a native. Oh my god, young. Oh my <laughs> god, man. But I think uh, you know what? How is probably going to end up going to end up having to gate it off. They do have a mild gate right, you know, yeah. right there, but you can still just walk through. You know, what and, I'm and, and, yeah. But it, the security, they they have security. They should make it man, make it a. a but it, it's a shame a to wall it off though, because you know it's been like that 120 years, but now all of a sudden in 2019, white folks went out the damn fool. Brody, because they moving in fast and furious. Well, like, like I said, Chuck City no longer number Mocha eight. City. Oh, fast Man. and Furious number eight. You know exactly <laughs> what happened, y'all, because the kid, the cats, the kids be out there playing and pledging out there. You know they right. got the pledge trees around mm -hmm. that junk. You know what I'm saying? So they out there doing a, you know what I'm saying? They, they hazing and stuff like that. Yeah. And somebody probably played football one day. Was like, oh shit! Like literally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shit, dummy, come on. on. And speaking of that. Speaking of dirty jeans and shit. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, hey, yeah. <clears throat> well, here we go. Nordstrom's, everybody. As y'all know, that's trending right now on the news and in the radio and everything. Nordstrom actually has a pair of mud-stained jeans, man. Now, Igor, if you could pull that picture up. Jesus Christ. I will whoop but, my but, 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 but what, so what's, what's more surprising like about that is that it's selling for $425. And somebody Four, is going to buy them shits too. $425 to look like somebody dusted your ass off, gave you the fade out that joke. Like somebody just in slid mud. in the home. He slid in the home. <laughs> in mud too. Slid in the home. Oh my God, man. But see, and I've had, you know, when I posted it, I had people come on. I had a cousin of mine come on and say, them Jones is fire. What in the hell are people seeing in this stuff, man? Are you and they and they said that it's um actually the uh rugged American it actually uh pays ode to the rugged American way of thinking and working how hard we work and stuff. Can you imagine? I c I come in the day on a uh, radio show with them Jones on. You gonna be like, son, what I'm in the hell I'm happened? I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. I'm saying about now. I'm talking about you. What are those? For real? What the fuck? You know what? Who, who actually, I, I'm not mad at Nordstrom making them. Mm. I'm not mad at Nordstrom selling them. Mm. I'm mad at motherfuckers that's buying them shit for four hundred twenty-five dollars. I don't think we'll see anybody buying those in the in the black community. Period. I mean, your your cousin would. He would. He would. He's 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 crazy, man. Shout shout outs to my crazy cousin, yeah. You crazy as hell, man. But on to the next one. That was a short-lived topic right there. But I no, be no. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm interested because fa fashion is this interesting thing, right? Yeah. It's the, a touchy subject. The, 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 the fact that Nordstrom did not come up by this idea by accident. Well, I, you know the, what I'm saying? The consultants that they have, I have no clue why. They, but you they, know, they, that wasn't by accident. So right. they I'm were inspired. I'm going to say your dad wasn't a black person because everybody's scared to come in the house with their clothes dirty. Well, I mean, Kanye had a he's, he has a sickness, but but Kanye, but see, see Kanye, he's selling Jedi Knight clothing. Right, correct, <laughs> correct. Which you can, I mean, everybody loves distressed clothes, but this looks like somebody smeared. This is late rolled around. Yeah. In the mud. Well, you, you mean, are a boo boo bagel. Well, you know you, what I'm saying? You, like, remember, you remember the '80s? Has to be like, oh, you know, uh, Asher wash jeans. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and our parents thought that was crazy then, but this right, this some other shit right here. Dear like, like, like folk, you're gone too far with period. this. Like, you are paying you're gone too far with this. dollars to look like you rolled around in dirt and mud, <laughs> literally. <laughs> How do you proudly walk in the bar and try to book somebody mm. with a pair of mud soaked looking? Whatever. I don't you know, know what man, but different stuff for different folks, obviously. It's all good. You know? It's all good. You know, and quickly, we got one more subject that I want to touch on, man. Which one's that one? George Zimmerman and the Tinder, I mean, and Tinder banning him. You know what? Do you, do you know how horrible a person you got to be <laughs> 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 to be banned from, from any social app? media site? You got to be banned from you an app? You came, in, you came in swipe left on this motherfucker right here, right? And the back he got kicked off. And the backstory is, is that he went under another another name in order to meet. But yeah. everybody knows his face. It's plastered everywhere in the on. memories and minds. How, of the, 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 how human do you really everywhere. think? What, and that, mm, I, I can did. guarantee you he had some hits. So I just, I just want to know, like, I can, you, I can guarantee you, you got kicked out the first time. People don't care. Yeah, I can hear it now. Hey, hey, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? I'm part of the clan. Oh, my gosh. We need your help over here. We got... Mom saying like like now, like now ladies. Like now you ladies. like you got the first time. Now you creating fake accounts to get back on. Man, somebody you like you like fly fleecer. I'm sure somebody reported. <laughs> and somebody you're a rugged outdoorsman. And look, <laughs> oh those jeans God. were oh made for him. 
And I bet you every woman that he attracted was a meth head. Mm. I bet you every last one of them was a goddamn meth head. Or a crackhead. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. One hey, or the other. Hey, before we get it quickly, I saw this video. I thought y'all would be funny. So this person, her and her, her, and her grandson have a YouTube video. They basically go around pank, pranking people. This is part two of her uh, taking on uh, some bodybuilders. Uh, uh, Igor, yeah. go ahead and play that video. Uh, Granny Smith versus the bodybuilders, man. Not the last one, Granny. And, and uh huh. It's gonna be the Granny. Yeah. Going in. Okay. Yes, sir. Your butt looks like a peach. Mine looks like a pancake. Do you have any advice? Well, do you work out? No, I'm old and wrinkly. <laughs> small muscle. I wonder what else is small. Oh, <laughs> Those are going to be saggy in a few years. Oh, I'm sure they will. They ask me how you are. You just have to say that you're fine. You're not really fine. A lot of people have been dropping syringes today. That is crazy, That's funny. bro. So, 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 like I said, they, they, they kind of do pranks, right? So she went and, and walked up to like two or three different bodybuilders and said, did you drop this? Hey, That's bro. Funny. If you know anything about syringes and bodybuilders, that was kind of a... Mm. <laughs> I was no, trying to no, look for I info. No, I, no, I really want to know where she was from, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. or whatever. But I guess her son, I mean, her grandson, and her, they go out and they, yeah, they, they do, do this that. and stuff. They do it every year. And uh, we thank you for tuning in to another Live from the Corner. You can check us here every Monday, 7 to 8. Be sure you check out Busy with the B. And check out the show that comes on after us, what your all name is? Good, Good Things, things DC. DC. Check 8 to 9 it, every Monday here on Listen, Listen Vision. Uh, you can catch us. Well, you can catch me, Bridget Taylor, B-R-E-A-Z-Y Taylor, on every social media. Where can they find you at, Red? Um, Louisa Harrell on Facebook and on Twitter and Instagram, Lovely Beautiful Mind 30. Hey, y'all. And you can catch me at Red Nose 199 on Twitter and Red Nose 1999 on IG, AI McDowell Ferguson on Facebook. And the Red Nose stands for the pit bull, not the clowner. You can catch me tr trying to train myself how to be a pervert. Jerk off and walk at the same and time. And I'll be like writing the poetry. I'm trying to learn. I'll be writing the poetry to spark his stalkerness. Yeah, we so we we all work and collaborate.